With the data that I've got here in front of me, we are going to look for a linear correlation between the number of texts sent by my students in 24 hours and the number of texts received. Uh, this is from a survey I gave to my students, and they just filled out what they had done roughly in the last 24 hours. I do have mine in Google Docs, so I'm going to transfer it over to Excel really quickly. But before I do, I noticed that one student typed in 100 or more, which Excel will probably read as a text instead of a number. So I'm going to go ahead and just change this to 100. You could also delete it. You could ask the student to put in another number. Um, just depends on your own analysis of the data. But let me just take a minute and put this into Excel. I'm going to File and then Download As and then Excel. If you're already in Excel, you don't need this extra step. I'll hit OK, and then I'll catch right up with the rest of you. So once I'm in Excel, I'm going to click on Enable Editing. Um, I'm looking for a linear correlation between text sent and text received. It looks like as text sent go up, the text received also go up. It looks like they're really closely matched. So I'm going to go ahead and highlight this data. So I'm going to click on this first cell in G. Then I'm going to hold and drag until I'm to the opposite corner there. And then I will release that. So I've got those selected. I'm ready to insert a chart. I'm going to insert my scatter plot first and then have Excel label the um, equation of that best fit line. So I'm going to insert. I go to charts here. I'm going to select the scatter plot symbol. And I want just a regular scatter plot. OK, so Excel gave me a really nice, quick, um, scatter plot. So let's see, text sent was first, so that's going to be along my x axis, and texts received is second, so that will be along my y axis. It just guesses, it just guessed at the title, and it really isn't. So if I just change this, so text received um, should be text sent um, versus received. So we'll just leave it like that. OK, um, so now I want to figure out that trend line, though I don't really care about the title. To get the trend line, I'm going to go ahead and click on any of the data values. So just click on it once. And I get some um, additional information here. If I click on it twice, um, I'm going to get some formatting options. So however you want to do this, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to go from the plus sign. So if I go from the plus sign, I'm going to go ahead and choose trend line. Um, maybe I want to delete that chart title. It's not the best. So I can go ahead and just delete that chart title. You can see how I can make some pretty quick changes here. I'm going to click the arrow for more options, and I do want a linear fit. The other ones don't quite fit the data, and you can kind of get some interesting options there, but I do want the linear one that fits my data the best. So I go ahead and click on that. So it gives me the line, but it doesn't give me the equation of that line. So I want to go ahead and double click on this. So if I double click on the line itself, oh, let me get out of this. Um, so let's just, there we go. So I double clicked on the line itself, and it opened up this format trend line box. I can also get there by clicking on format and then Format Selection, since I've already clicked on the line. So I do want to go ahead and format this trend line. So I've got my trend line here. Um, if I go down to um, this first trend line, and I want to get to some options here, um, not the effects. I want the trend line options. Here's where I want to be. So I'm going to go ahead and scroll down here. It's a little bit hidden, but if I scroll down, um, I don't care about an intercept, but I do want that equation. So I'm going to click on Display Equation. There it is. And I also want the R squared value. This tells me the strength of that trend line. So I've got the equation Y. Those were um, the texts sent um, in 24 hours. That second, let me close out of this. Oh, text received were my Y values. So text received is equal to 0.973 times x, those were the first ones, text sent, plus 154. And I've got this r squared value, which is really close to 1. So that value being very close to 1 tells me that I have a strong correlation. And I could, of course, test that strength if I wanted to with a statistical test. So I've got my equation there um, really, really nicely and quickly from Excel.